this was a game that uh, you know I know you guys felt probably like you had some advantages in addition to the home court coming in, and nice to see you get off to a great start in conference play. Yeah, I you know I th I think Corpus Christi is one of those teams that their records a little deceiving, uh, even in their their losses. You know they took Georgia to three points, and uh, and you know they're. Willis Wilson is one of the better coaches. I've known him for years, and he's one of the better coaches in this league. And I told our players that Corpus Christi has a lot of tradition, and they have a lot of pride, and I, I knew this would be a grinder. And uh, they're always tough when they're inside game, posting up. And But I thought our guys really responded. I thought we showed some grit, some toughness, answered every time something uh, kind of went wrong for us. And uh, that's that's a way, that's a formula for winning and winning conference games. And I, I told them, you win a conference game, that's good. I don't care how it's done. As long as you uh, get a chance to win. And uh, we challenged him before the game and said, do you want to be in first place when this day's over? Because if one and zero, we'll have you in first place. And this is where we're at right now. A lot of guys did a lot of things. And Thatch Unruh came up with 20 points. And it tied a career high for him. He's had 20 a few times in his career. Uh, Jordan didn't have a particularly good shooting day, but the five was the magic number for him. Five steals, five assists, five rebounds. And then how about your freshman center, Hayden Koval? He put him back in the starting lineup, and he comes through with a uh, career high and a school record, ties his own career high, I guess, with seven blocks in the game. What was the thinking in putting him back in there? You know, we, we really wouldn't have removed him if he hadn't been injured. And then Tanner was playing awful well, and, and I just thought it would take pressure off of Hayden if we let him sit on the bench and come in, and, and he got to heal a little bit more. And we felt like after Christmas, if he came back healthy, uh, that we'd stick him back in because he is such a weapon on the defensive end. And, and I thought he actually got a couple of bad calls. I thought he probably should have had about uh, eight or nine yeah. blocks. But, you know, nonetheless, his numbers are real steady, and I think they'll only go up. He's, he's going to get better and better. Uh, again, protecting home court. And you've actually done a pretty good job of that, Coach. I mean, the record has not been gaudy by any stretch of the imagination. But home court, we saw, saw that kind of build last year where you started doing a better job with that. And it's obviously very important. And I thought a pretty good crowd on hand for, you know, school being out and a uh, 1 o'clock tip. Yeah, the community really turned out. I was really excited, and I think they got it entertained with a, a pretty good basketball game. Home court is, I think, uh, very important for us to build because if you're going to win and uh, and have a chance to win your conference, you about have to whole serve at home. If you lose at home, you can only lose about once. And kind of the old formula is win all your home games and split on the road, and you're always going to be in the hunt. And and so to this point, we've done a pretty good job of uh, playing at home and get another chance on, on Sunday. Hopefully we can do the same. Matthew Camba, coach, 13.6 rebounds for him. He had four assists and uh, a highlight reel dunk that we're trying to figure out how to get to Sports <laughs> Center. That was something. He sort of bobbled it, bobbled it, and then he flushed it in a guy's face. You know, it's funny because if you look at his highlights from high school, it's on, they're on YouTube, you will see that. And I, I always kid him and tell him it was his evil twin. I've never seen him do that here. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he goes and punches it tonight, and that was a, that was a big big play and kind of got us going. And, uh, you know, he's just such a special young man. He's so unassuming, and his game speaks so loud, and, you know, he just – he puts solid numbers up. He's having a heck of a senior year, and I'm really happy for him. Did you? Do you feel like your team felt any pressure coming into this game about getting off to a good start being at home? Yeah, probably so. Uh, I, I think right now, and, and, and I've said this before, I've been a part of rebuilds three or four times in my career. I always feel like the hardest part is when you get good enough. I think when you're not good enough, you can – sneak up on people and you'll have some moments where you'll go man that was good and, and you kind of live through that but when you're good enough and you know you got to get over the hump you don't quite have the confidence you need yet but you know it, it, it's coming and and sometimes I wonder if that almost uh, makes you play worse and we try not to do that we try not to talk about that we tell them to relax and play in fact we even kind of even in our scouts we don't talk tons about the other team we talk about their schemes but we don't try to overhype that and what I hope is we start relaxing and understand we're a pretty good team and I keep telling that you're a pretty good team you don't have to prove anything to anyone except yourselves and uh, hopefully we'll keep getting that confidence and you know we get good contribution from guys off the bench as long as we have a number of guys and you can absorb a night like Jordan had shooting yeah well, that shows you where you've improved yeah well the defense uh, defensive end of the floor obviously you know keeps you guys in games and, and held them down again and uh, you can you can obviously withstand a, a night where Jordan doesn't have his, his best shooting touch uh, and as we were joking about earlier I'm sure he'll come out and, and you know make 
10 of 11 in the next game, so that's typical. But uh, in a unique setup with a schedule, with this being a 1 o'clock game, you not only get the rest of this day, but the next game's not until Sunday with Southeastern coming in here. A different kind of challenge, and uh, a guy I never look forward to playing. It reminds me a little bit of DeAndre's, Marlon Veal, great on-ball defender, loves to harass, and I know everybody, Coach, and we saw it with the Islanders too, everybody loves to try to Jordan guard Jordan Howard oh, yeah. as closely as they can. Well, Veal has always kind of measured himself by Jordan, and I've told Jordan that's the ultimate compliment. I, I love Veal. He competes. Uh, he and I have a lot of fun together. Uh, I say stuff to him. and back forth, I'm talking about good-natured stuff. It's never any trash talking. And I think he's a great kid, and uh, I hate to play against him, but I respect his game. And, and they, they'll be a challenge. Southeast has got a good team, and I know they feel a little bit like us. Uh, you know, uh, Jay Ladner has been there now the same amount of time as me. Feels like he's kind of put his team together. They think they have a chance to make a run at this thing. So this will be a big, big game for both teams. And I'm, I'm with you. I'm glad it's Sunday. I think we need, you know, not necessarily the rest, but maybe a little bit more practice to kind of get our rhythm back. All right, Coach. Good luck uh, Sunday. Look forward to visiting with you before the game. And uh – Three o'clock tip. Look forward to it. Thanks, guys. All right, Take Coach. Care. Thank you. All right. So what was the key for you guys? I know coming off the rest and, and the break and all that, it was probably hard to get back in on track. Coach said he felt good coming in. Though. Sounds like you guys had some good practices leading up. Yeah, we did well with our, uh, our first couple practices back. Um, just a sign of the, the maturity on this team. Uh, the, the guys, the upperclassmen have done a good job of just uh, making sure everybody's been on it. And so those two good practices leading into this game uh, got off to the good start in conference, get the first win. So, yeah. I, I hate to give Sammy credit, but he pointed out you got a layup on the I think your first bucket today. Kind of got things going a little bit offensively, and then able to knock down some perimeter game uh, perimeter shots rather as the game wore on. Did you did you feel comfortable getting getting those early buckets inside? Yeah, uh, as a shooter, it's always good to see a couple go in the net and just um, either get a driving layup or get to the free throw line, see if you go in, uh, just get your rhythm a little bit. So uh, yeah, that was good to get a couple go down early for sure. You guys have been the hunter for so long. And today, to me, it felt like you guys were the hunted. This is a game that I expected you to come in. And if you asked, you know, somebody making odds, you guys would have been the favorite team, you know, partially because you're at home and, you know, partially because of, of the senior-laden group you have and the fact that the Islanders obviously lost some guys to graduation and had an injury out. But uh, did you feel any added pressure coming in here where you were almost expected to win? No pressure. Uh, it's definitely a new mindset we have to adjust to, though. Um, having a pretty successful non-conference for us against the good competition we did, uh, we need to develop more of a championship mindset, especially as we enter into conference. And so that just hasn't been something that we've had in the past or really uh, been worthy of having. Um, and so, yeah, that's definitely something that we're still trying to do is come into every game expecting to win with confidence that we're going to win and that we're supposed to win. Um, so took care of that tonight, though. Feels good. Hayden tied a school record with seven blocks today, mm -hmm. uh, his own school record. Uh, wh what does that do for you as a defender knowing he's back there, especially with him being inserted back in the off, uh, starting lineup? Yeah, he's – He's just beating up everything, which is awesome. Uh, something we got to work on is when he goes and helps on block shots, we got to uh, get down on weak side and box this guy out that he's leaving. But definitely is just adds a huge element to our defense, knowing that he's back there to clean it up if, if guys get beat. You remind me a little bit of a quarterback who's looking to draw a uh, personal foul for unnecessary roughness. You're a shooter, but you're always trying to mix it up, it seems like, when you get an opportunity. Um, talk to me a little bit about your mentality and how you get – sort of balance those two things because there is a certain mentality, I guess, as, as a shooter, but there's also an intensity that you bring to the game uh, that maybe most shooters or a lot of shooters don't have. Yeah, that's just all part of the game to me. Uh, when you get involved on defense and get involved in loose balls and 50-50 balls and down on the floor and just getting the nitty-gritty plays underneath the basket, all that just gets your rhythm even more increased, and it helps your offense. When you can get uh, in a stance on defense and really just get engaged to every part of the game, uh, helps you to play with more pace on offense and you just get fully engaged and so that's one of my favorite parts is just competing uh making shots is i like doing that but yeah just getting in the scrum and, and messing around in there is awesome yeah you had a you had a play perfectly indicative of that you had the muddied it up down low wrestling and maybe exchanging some words and then you came back moments later and hit a three so it was good to see congratulations one and oh and looking to go two and oh on saturday yes, sir. uh any thoughts on southeastern i uh, got to come to play. Uh, I know they got a good point guard, and so we'll have to make sure that we're ready for that and just continue to defend home court uh, as we look to go 2-0. All right. Good luck. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right.